Welcome back to another episode of Plan Bree Uncut brought to you by Pirate Water, the best drink in a can, 10% ABV malt beverage. we got four delicious flavors. We have Bahama Mama, Sex on the Beach, Margarita, and Miami Vice. Personal favorite, Bahama Mama, not going to lie. It's my absolute favorite. I love that shit. I drink it all the time. It's the drink of the summer. It's going to be a great uh, vacation, everyone. It's 4th of July. Make sure you have a Pirate Water in your hand. If you haven't tried it yet, make sure you do. You can go to drinkpiratewater.com to find Pirate Water in a location near you or order it now on GoPuff. Let's get into the show. Oh, what's up, my degenerates? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Plan Brie Uncut. We're here. We vlogged our mornings today. We did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, it was just a little vlog. Yeah, yeah. I am. Um, well, I, I, I got up at eight thirty this morning. Oh, nice. I went to bed at like twelve o'clock. Got eight, eight and a half hours in. Let's go. Woke up. I woke up because, well, my ass woke me up. Oh no, diarrhea ass. Fuck man. So Are that's. You- are you okay? Yeah, I, I, it, yeah. It was a lot of runs, but I was I had to run out the door, so no time for poop. What'd you What'd you eat? I don't know. I looked it up and it said I had um like uh, uh ga- gas is torn me ga- something. Oh, maybe you just have IBS. No, it said um something about having alcoholism and your stomach lining. That's what oh, I figured. That's probably more so. Yeah. what you have, and that's all right. I'll just cut back. Yeah. Yeah. You saying you want to cut back on the drinking. I do. Mm. I do. You get wasted last night? Um <laughs> no. I didn't get wasted. Okay. I did I did stay after the comedy show and um throw a couple back. Yeah. But did I you throw your ass back? I I was throwing it back like a boom 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we should be beatboxers. Yeah. That's easy. You know me and my rhythm. Mm -hmm. Boy, do I have rhythm. Yes, let's get this. (laughs) So you didn't get wasted. I didn't get wasted, I was kind of wasted after the two glasses of wine. I know. And I I walked into... So Brianna and I, we went and got a little happy hour action. Yeah, we did. A couple couple glasses of wine. Yeah, just two glasses of wine. We're all grown up now. You got me all feeling all like fucking warm and fuzzy, though. I know. I was all jazzed. I was like, what the fuck? And then I had to run and go host the comedy show at Sucker Punch. And I get there and I'm like, Lou, two glasses <laughs> of wine does it now? What the hell and fuck? <laughs> so you were just all weed up. I was like, woo. I had no <laughs> I had no nerves. I was like, all right, two glasses of wine will do it. Yeah, that's it, man. That's all you need. Yeah, I felt like I could conquer the world after those two glasses of wine. I was on top of it. Yeah, it was epic. So good for us, I guess. Yeah. So um yeah, I'm like, it's like really hot in here. It's really hot in here. It's really hot in New York City. Oh, let's go. It, but it's actually a beautiful day today. Oh. I rode a bike here. Wow. It was awesome. You did it. You did it way better than me. Yeah. I went to bed at six a.m. last night. Ah, uh, yeah. So I was damn. all fucked up. I was like, dude, what the fuck? I my sleeping schedule is all fucked up. Why? I don't know. And I was so back on I could sleep, and now yeah. I, I'm back on I can't sleep, and I think it's attributed to the vaping again. Because mm. when I wasn't vaping, I could sleep like a fucking baby's ass. Uh, wow. I think I guess baby's asses don't really sleep. Well, a baby and its ass will sleep forever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but your ass won't sleep. No. There's no sleeping for that ass. Well, also, I think you were on, um, you, you had sleeping pills. We discussed this. When? When you had your kidney stones? No, they didn't no. give me kidney stones. Uh. I mean, they didn't give me sleeping pills. <laughs> I'm no doctor. <laughs> <laughs> they gave me antibiotics mm-hmm. and a flow max, which opens up your urethra. Okay, urethra. <laughs> urethra Franklin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah wait what was your urethra franklin song um, what you want yeah Ooh, baby, baby it's so open so that's my urethra segment <laughs> when you pee <laughs> kidney stones get on out of it perfect all i'm asking you is for a little kidney stone just a little bit one two three four five six seven eight <laughs> yes but before this um we were we were about to record and i was like no we got my pictures oh yes because i finally developed my film camera and i was like grace come on let's look and it was uh just a, a doctor's portal i go i go b <laughs> uh that's literally good rx yeah i was like no <laughs> did you think it said good pics i i think that's what the <laughs> i think that's what the place was called so yeah <laughs> that's crazy i guess i just can't read i actually figured out this morning i can't read no like i used to be able to but i was like writing shit and it was not the same as what came out of my head yeah that's true. Yeah, it's just broken lately. I kind of feel a little... Stu- I feel stupid lately. I feel stupid. I want to get better with that. Mm-hmm. Um, we have been in vacation mode. We're going right back into vacation mode. Right back into mode. vacation mode. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> yeah, because I was, I was talking to somebody at work today, and I was like, yeah, no, like, me and Brie, were back. We were on vacation for a little bit. They're like, you're going right back. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Fuck. You're not wrong. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. We're literally going right back. But it's not even like... Vac- eh, I guess it's... We could go to our local town library. We... In our convertible yes okay so 
we're doing the convertible thing. We decided we're going to drive to the Cape for a day. Yeah. But here's the thing. There's a lot of logistics that we can't figure out. Yeah. And we keep saying we'll do it tomorrow. We didn't know and today <laughs> is the day. That was yesterday and today we're going to figure it out. Yeah, well, I have to go to fucking... I will figure dinner. it out. Okay. <laughs> you have to. I will figure it out. Okay. Um, There's a lot riding on this. We, yes. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> There's a, you have to figure it out. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> oh, no pressure. Okay, no pressure at all. But um, we were saying, like, oh, we'll drive down to the Cape, like the tippity top, a place mm-hmm. called Wellfleet. If you're not from the New England area, Cape Cod, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. Wellfleet has great oysters. They sure do. I'll they watch sure Grace do. eat them. Yes, yeah. she will. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I won't even be grossed out. No. I don't like grossed out by oysters. Nope. Not at all. She just don't want to eat them, and that's all right. Nope. I like to see my friend enjoy delicacies of the ocean. <laughs> that's, that's a beautiful thing, man. To. That's all yours, <laughs> man. Um, but, uh, our whole problem was, uh, so yeah, we take the convertible out there and, uh, it's 4th of July weekend Mm -hmm. and there's nowhere to stay. Yeah. And we're like, oh, we'll just not drink. Right. And then we're like, we're totally going to drink. And then we were we're sitting there saying, (laughs) we're like, oh, we can go the day before. We're not going to drink. We'll be on the beach. Yeah. And then we're like, we'll just bring four each. Yeah. And then we just like, we'll be sobered up by the nighttime. And then we were like, who are we kidding? And then we and, and then I was like, well, they got like really good mudslides. And that then I was bar. like, there's a bar. <laughs> and then I was like, we really have a no self control, but at least we're we're good people. And we're like, well, we can't. We, we will have not to stay be because we can't drink and drive. There's no driving. There's a bunch of wi- I don't know why I would call them wiggle heads, but there's a bunch wiggle of heads. There's a bunch of wiggle heads that would drink and drive. There's a lot of wiggle heads out there that are drinking and driving. If you are one of them, change your ways now, mm-hmm. or you'll end up like the people from the last episode. <laughs> and that's just a fact. Uh, we don't have to go there because you're and me. And G, <laughs> we're all good moods. B, G, and G. Yeah. Double oh, G and two. B. Oh, B. It's B or double G. Baby girl. Oh, I wish there was a B. <laughs> we need a Y. Girl, baby girl. <laughs> girl, baby girl. Girl, baby gorilla girl. <laughs> gorilla bitch, go. Okay, that's the big three Go, right go, there. bitch. Oh, yeah. Um, do you guys watch the Fast and Furious movies? Uh, no, but did you see Fights did a whole stream watching every single one of them? Every single one? Yeah. Every single one, count- counting how many car crashes and um, how, many <laughs> how many times they say family. family. And <laughs> the family number was pretty low. Wait, what? When did he do this? And he did it all consecutively? Mm-hmm. Yeah. In their studio. Last week, I think. And um, That's got to be 24 hours worth of film. He got a massage <laughs> yep. and ordered um, like a sushi boat. <laughs> what? It was the crazy. I saw like one clip. I'm like, this? there's like, I wish yeah. I saw it. There was one part where he like his eyes were literally like half closed. He's like car crash, <laughs> car crash, <laughs> car crash. The poor guy. Wait, that's awesome. Yeah. So funny. Yeah. I wonder how long it really was. I, don't, I think it was like a 24 hour stream at the very least. Wow. Yeah. I felt bad for uh, Nick Hamilton. I had to sit yeah. with him through that whole thing. I mean, there's always people on the other side that yeah. you do not see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, I, w- I did another sketch with him yesterday and fights is insane. He was covered in blood <laughs> and, um, uh, covered in blood and oatmeal and rib sauce. So stay Hell tuned yeah. for that sketch. Mm. That sounds like He's a treat. A crazy <laughs> motherfucker. And I also thought I found Grace a boyfriend. Oh yeah. And I was texting Grace. Quote, so I went to, we went and like recorded this thing. There was this Irish guy there. Grace loves Irish guys. I sure do. And it's not like he's just from Ireland, like, or he, like, his family's from Ireland. He was straight from Ireland, had the brogue. So I immediately got my phone and I said, I fucking found you a boyfriend. And then I kept texting her about him. Dude, you're going to love him. Like, he's so great. And I was stoked. I'm like, I can't wait to go into this bar and, and meet this man. And then I was like, he dropped the girlfriend. And I was like, <sighs> fuck, Grace, he has a girlfriend. But just because there's a goalie doesn't mean he can't school. Hey. Hey, no, actually, no, that's fine. I don't live my life that way. <laughs> Everyone always says that about um, guys. Always say that when girls have boyfriends. Yeah. But if a girl were to say that, it's like, dude, you're not a girl's girl. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're bad to the bone. You're bad. You're stealing <laughs> bitches' mans out here. You're bitches' mans. That's your new thing. You're stealing bitches' mans. Yeah. Come I'm on. gonna get it done. <laughs> One of these days. Yeah. It's the summer of love. Love and boy, are sparks flying in my department. I told our best friend <laughs> that he, I wanted to have him sleep over. Oh, yes. That's yeah. crazy. I've been so drunk lately. Wait, I thought, you, <laughs> I thought you didn't say it. I said it. Oh. What do you say? I said... <laughs> I said... But I'm also rooting for that, and I have been rooting for that. Yeah, but that was just, like, delusional. We were up... It was just the two of us up on the, on the freaking roof, and at one point, I was, like, shrooming and drunk, and I was, like... I was going to ask him... Hey, I was like, hey, you want to sleep over? And then, I, and then when we were cleaning up my roof and going downstairs, I was like, I almost asked you if you wanted to sleep over, like, you know, like a sleepover, but you can sleep on my couch if you want to. <laughs> What did he say? I just scored big. He said, I'm going to go home. (laughs) 
want to get out of here. Yeah. I don't know what the hell that was. Um, that was like a, well, I, maybe if you just asked to begin with, instead of telling him you were going to ask. Yeah, no, ask. it's weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is there something vibrating? There's a lot of construction going on, apparently. Okay. Because I thought I was, that sounds like the Transformers are about to break in. What the hell is all That'd that? That would be kind of cool, honestly. Oh, who's your guy's favorite Transformer? Bumblebee. Optimus. Okay. Oh. Wow. I was going to say Optimus. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Optimus or Bumblebee because those are the only two I know. Oh, Bumblebee's the, adorable. That's the only two I know, too. <laughs> Bumblebee's the most Meg- adorable yeah. car transformer. <laughs> yeah. No, but he is. He, he is. is. And he has the biggest heart. Yeah. Why are you talking about this? Because I hear them in the ceiling. This is well, Megatron, I can't, but he's the bad guy. This is going to be difficult for me personally. I know. Should mm. we put our headphones on or something? Um, you brought up Fast and Furious, and that's for why. Oh, my, something to talk about. All right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I have something to talk about. Okay. Um, when I was on vacation, pulled, uh, uh, just turned on the TV, yes. Fox News. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all right, guys, hold on. Before we change the channel, let's see what the headline is. Mm. This was the actual real life headline. Dodgers suffer worst shutout loss in 125 years after hosting anti-Catholic drag nuns. Wow. Anti-Catholic drag nuns. So they were nuns that left the church because mm-hmm. they're anti-Catholic and they're dragging out. Yep. And they hosted the Dodgers a host, party. The, the Dodgers hosted them at their game, and it was the worst shutout in 125 <laughs> uh, years. The correlation there. Wait, so the Dodgers? <laughs> the Dodgers won. No, they they lost. lost. Oh, shutout is bad. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. So you got to. You, I mean, Fox is saying it's it's, it's all because the anti Catholic drag nuns. Mm. Well, you yeah. know how they be. You know, Fox <laughs> is always right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I swear by them. I mean, I wonder why my dad's so screwed. He's he's this is <laughs> this is his actual news. Yeah, you wake he's up like, and ah, get rejected. Fuck the they got the Dodgers. <laughs> I mean, like no shit. Like these no people. Like everyone thinks like that that watches it because that's the actual news. Like that's what's being portrayed to them and as the real <laughs> life world they'll be walking. Because when you watch the news, you think, yeah. This has got to be all true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. scary. It's terrifying. Yeah. 125 years and those nuns came in. Shout out. Anti-Catholic drags. <laughs> Can we get a fucking picture of those pulled up? Uh, uh, yeah, let's just get, let's I've just never just really get into it. I've never seen a nun in drag. Do you think they're still wearing their nunnery? Anti-Catholic drag nuns. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. You're going to go down Or look up like drag hole. nuns at Dodgers game, maybe. Dodgers. But yeah. Oh, it's Fox News right up. Oh, perfect. Woo! <laughs> There's no picture. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> uh, just just black. Oh, woo! <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> are they even doing drag or they're just like performing? Isn't that what drag is? Just a friggin' performance? Yeah. So let yeah. these people perform. This is crazy, though, that they shut it out bad. Uh, well, I mean, it's all their fault. Well, I bet the friggin' <laughs> people on the team were, were watching the news and they're like, we have to shut it out. We have to be bad. Is it Catholic? Drag nuns. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's what's going on oh. in the news. Mm, kind of looks like handmaid's tail. Like the things over their heads kind of look like yeah. handmaid's tail. Mm. But they're slaying. Did they you, are. Did you guys watch um, Life of Maya? Yeah. Grace. Oh, God. That was devastating. If you guys haven't, have you watched it, Gia? Mm-mm. Life of Maya. Dude, that w- is so incredibly fucked up. And the fact that the Child Protective Services is a privatized company it doesn't make if you guys haven't watched it basically there was this girl who had like a rare condition where she was just like in chronic pain so her parents brought her to like a bunch of doctors they couldn't figure it out they finally brought her to a doctor that figured out what to treat the pain so she wasn't in excruciating pain all the time and it was ketamine therapy so she was doing a lot of ketamine and um uh, she was having pains one day and they brought her to another doctor's office the um uh john hopkins i think it Mm -hmm. was and they brought her in and uh, the mom was telling them like no she needs this amount of ketamine or she's literally going to be in excruciating pain and then the doctors were like no that's way too much like you are abusing this child some some doctor came and did like three questions they took the parents out of the room held the little seven-year-old hostage for three 90 days in the hospital couldn't have contact with her parents the mom was not allowed to talk to her unless it was a supervised phone call it ended up being eight months she was only in the hospital for three three months oh really yeah 90 days or something like that but then the mom um fucking was writing in writing in they were gonna arrest the mom was gonna go to jail for child abuse when she was literally just going to doctors to find out what was wrong with her doctor and then the mom ended up while the daughter was still in the hospital killing herself Mm -hmm. and then the daughter gets out is like what 
mom's gone and uh, they're still fighting like this huge lawsuit. And then a bunch of other families came forward being like, dude, I've spent 20 years in prison for child abuse when I was doing the same thing. Just advocating for your child. Yeah. Kids were got thrown into foster care system. It's because they have to like make these quotas or like, it just was the most eye-opening insane thing I've ever watched in my whole entire life. And there's money to be made through all of these doctors. And yeah. oh, and the texts from the doctors are disgusting. Disgusting. Saying, oh, we finally got her. That bad shit lady's finally gone or something like that. And oh. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? It was heartbreaking. And like the poor brother, the father, the daughter, like you'll never recover from that. That's just, I just hope is they she get the justice. still alive? The daughter, yeah, yeah, yeah. she's um, she's better, but she's, she's like well six, now. not mentally. It was no. so sad to watch. I know it was terrible. Yeah, so if you want to be sad, but um, <laughs> learn, I guess, watch it. It's really fucking sad. Yeah, it was, yeah, that was fucked. That up. was like the last thing I think I've watched on TV. It's freaking fucked. You guys up. need to watch The Bear. Oh, dude, I I've I watched literally the first can't episode, shut up like, about three it. times. Really? Yeah, I can't. I would say I didn't really love it the first like three episodes. Okay. It took me like. It took me a little bit. All right. But it's so unbelievably good. Season two is so, 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 so okay. good. Like, the best television I've seen in a while. I'm surprised you haven't watched it. You love you love Lip. I've watched first season. Oh, you have? Yeah. yeah. But um, I can't believe, I don't know, what's his real name? Jeremy? Yeah, Jeremy Allen White. I can't believe him and his wife I got know. divorced. I thought they were so in love. There was, like, huge tea with that. Is love yeah. even real anymore? Yeah. What is love? Baby, Baby don't, don't hurt me. me. Don't, don't hurt me. me. Optimus Prime is no going more. off in this Yeah, movie. they're really going out on this bitch. It's Some girl is getting fucking rawed by her oh vibrator God. upstairs. Jesus Christ. She's, she's getting going to raw. Town. She had a, I think she's in the couch. She's having a long lunch break with that special toy. Who do you think it is? You think it's Erica? What the <laughs> hell, Brianna? <laughs> I just want to put words in your mouth. No. <laughs> she does not think it's Erica. I no. do not. On record. Uh, <laughs> Alex Bennett? Yeah. Yeah, she's got a whole bag of toys. Yeah. Um, I saw a clip actually from Mean Girls talking about how babies don't drink water. And that's the first time I was like, wow, actually, yeah, you guys got me. Oh, yeah. Babies don't drink water until they're like three weeks or three months old or some shit. Why don't we be giving those kids some water? Right? I would have gave my baby some water right when it come out. Wait, You're gonna ha- yeah, see? I know. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. But the formula is made with water. That's true. But not the titty milk. No. Well, were you breastfed? <laughs> I don't know. What? Never asked. Can you call your mom right now and ask? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's see what she says. You see, me, I had a hard time latching. Did I you? couldn't differentiate the milk that was being provided with my own mother's tea, you know? Okay. It was tough for me. I'm, and I was cognitive. <laughs> so you were formula? Yeah, after a while. <laughs> I, don't I, think, I don't think I was breastfed. No way she would, she would put up with that. <laughs> I don't know if I was. Maybe she tried. Formula. She's going to call me back mid-pod. Mom, was I breastfed? Try to leave her a message. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave her a message. Hi, this is Peggy. I can't get to the bar right now. Leave a message and I'll get back to you soon. Thank you. At the tone, please oh. record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or, or press, press one for more options. Hey, Mom, uh, we're recording the pod right now, and I just wanted to know if I was breastfed because we never uh, never asked you that. So let me know uh, in the comments below if I was breastfed. Thanks. Love you. Bye. Perfect. <laughs> She'll just answer on one of your TikToks. Yeah. <laughs> I, think I'm, I think I'm not. I think I'm going to go with I wasn't. I think, I think maybe uh, she gave it a whirl. Mm-hmm. And she was like, fuck this shit. Fuck that. That's what my mom did. Uh, did it hurt? Did it she hurts. breastfed all your children? Uh, she just tried with me, and then and I was just biting her shit crazy. Oh, God. So, um, Why are you yeah, getting so we weird it. about it? What? About being breastfed? Biting her shit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's your mom's teat we're talking about. Yeah, the best boobs in town. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> you getting all weird about your mom's tits. Hey, next subject. <laughs> hey, what else? <laughs> 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 uh, oh, man. <laughs> Never meet your heroes. <laughs> <laughs> that looked like a TikTok fucking eye roll. <laughs> oh, Ugh, gross. Yeah. Anyways. Um, Should I go to Fiji this weekend? Yes. Yeah, so weekend? you have that option. I guess so. All I right. thought it was wrong. I thought it was fake. Present it to the group. All right, guys. Um, I got an email this morning to. I'm never going to see you again. I know. It's so <laughs> fucked up. Maybe I can ask if I can bring you. No. Why? Do we want to come? I would totally come to Fiji with you. <laughs> okay. All right. Then let me ask. 
Okay. And can I please have a plus one to free G? <laughs> That's just crazy. Um, uh, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm allowed to say it's for, but I got invited to Fiji for like this event thing. And here's the thing, like getting invited to these things are so awesome and cool. Not when you're socially awkward and have social anxiety because doing things alone is terrifying to me and then that's when you just get feisted <sighs> wait yeah i know and you and you find the other people who are trying to get feisted and you become a group of foisted women <laughs> but then uh, we're trying not to be foisted women anymore i yep. can't keep i can't keep getting foisted and talking to people that you shouldn't be foisted talking dude. to dude what'd yeah. you do I no that. i know i've just been doing that shit. i know and then i'm like fuck dude because the next time they see me i'm a totally different human being i'm not a fush wasted yeah. i'm only like that if i know you yeah and then i'm like you shouldn't get to know me unless you know me but if i'm wasted then it's like we're best friends and i'll say anything shouldn't say anything there should be some lines that should not be crossed when i'm wasted every line is crossed crossed <laughs> every line is crossed i will say anything anything i'll make any joke that i shouldn't yep Oh, it's just like, dude, get a fucking muzzle on that whore. And it's <laughs> it, and it's like that that muzzle needs to get put on, and you need to take that phone away. Yeah, take, yeah. take that freaking phone, phone away, man. Phone oh, away. you know what I've been doing lately? Replying to people's stories. Oh, I that's mean, what I've been doing. That's I do that sober when I'm like, oh, just a drink of Celsius. <laughs> um, fucking no, I've been um, making. This is like a good thing I've been doing when I'm recording blacked out on my phone. I draft it. Put it in a draft. Mm. Watch it in the morning. Yeah. 100 times out of 100 times, you're yeah. going to be so happy that motherfucker didn't see the daylight. Yeah. My drafts are a scary place. That's I'm, where the, that's where the, um, that the devil nuns hang out. Yeah. <laughs> In my drafts. <laughs> With me. I'm one of them. And the Dodgers just keep losing. They keep losing, man. My life is the Dodgers game for me, man. And I am just, well. Yeah. So the drafts are pretty bad. Yeah. The drafts. I mean, well, sometimes, well, most of the time I actually don't have that. You just post it? I just it. post it. Uh, I think on <laughs> Sunday I posted, I think I'm gay now again. Oh, <laughs> and I was like, ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Enough's enough. Yeah. I mean, this is a recent one week thing for me. But yeah. I'm like, thank God. Because I posted something. No, actually, it was it was it by accident in the mm. Hamptons. I After I got into my fist fight, I mm. made a video. Mm. And I didn't have any service. So it had to go to the drafts. Woke up, watched that. I was like, that's my new thing. Yep. Everything's going to the drafts because that's not seeing the daylight. <laughs> the phone's going on airplane mode. Yeah. Yeah. Airplane <laughs> mode. Yeah. I think when we're drunk, our phones should just be on airplane mode. Yeah. We should just keep a journal. Mm hmm. That's a good idea. Keep a journal. Wait, let's get wasted. So and we're just... going to, we're going out and we're, we're going to keep a journal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Screw it. I've been giving not? my friends my phone. Yeah. Ooh. Like, just, can you just hold my phone? Yeah. yeah Cause you're, forget. wait, was it? Okay. So you're, you're single now. I am. And you get, you're getting <laughs> wasted. I'm getting wasted. And you're what? getting laid. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you do that? I not don't... saying that you can't, but I'm, I, it's been some time for me. So what are the tips? Yeah. Give her some tips. I don't really have any tips. Just because... be hot. <laughs> not well. You got that's... that covered, Miss Girl. Yeah, oh, that is honey. true. Mm -hmm. And I don't have that covered. I just, you've got it covered. I, like I don't insurance. meet random. I don't meet random people. It's just like, for the roster that i know you know mm -hmm. yeah so it's just like kind of like easy pickings mm. <laughs> you know yeah <laughs> like, like people tonight. like that's what i was thinking last night for some reason i was like i've only i can only date people i was friends with first mm -hmm. like I, you can't just imagine just like going on a a date i sure can oh well it's yeah, terrible it's terrible yeah it's god awful like i couldn't date someone that i wasn't already had a friendship with it's such like bullshit it's like yeah, where are you from? You have any siblings? Yeah. What do you like to do for fun? Drink? Me too. Yeah. <laughs> that, and then it's like, okay, it's either going to be that or get foisted and then not even recall. And yeah. then it's like the next time you see each other, it's going to be weird because we were foisted. Yeah. yeah. Fuck all that shit. Stinks. Yeah. I, I used to, I like feel like I feel the same way about like friendships. I'd rather be friends with someone before. But all of my guy friends that I do like hook up with whatever I would never want to date them. Yeah. Like, I just know them too well. And, like, I just would never be able to, like, they're just too immature to yeah. me in a way. Maybe not, like, uh, like not, like, best friends. But I need to, like, you yeah. need to be able to have a conversation already without and like no, Or, like, a mutual, mutual friendship. Friends. A mutual, yeah. yeah. Friend of a friend. That's yeah. always how it goes. We're yeah. Gi we're giving um guys in the friend zone a lot of hope. Mm. Yeah. Guys, yeah. fight for your dreams. Fight for your girls. Go for what you want, motherfuckers. Yeah. Everything's going to be okay. Just yeah. about right. Mm hmm I think what we're going to do when we're in our convertible, what I'm going to let do? you drive even though you don't have a license. Shh, don't tell them. And you're going to, but the guys don't, won't hear this. Oh. And you're going to drive by and say, 
Yeah, it's my convertible, boys. Is that the list? And then you're going to go like this. And you're going to say, who's your friend? <laughs> no, she's going to have a helmet on. I'm going to have him topless. I'm topless you in the topless um, car. You should wear a headscarf. Yes. Like, Ooh, like, um, like a bougie like lady, you know? Ooh. Let's get matching With transatlantic accents. Big, yeah, yes. big sunglasses. Ooh. 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 Red lipstick. Mm-hmm. Ooh, and I'm doing my powder while yes. she drives. <laughs> look at her. This is her convertible. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> look at her lip gloss. Yeah, you don't even need to look at the road. You're just putting a lip gloss on because your lips is all that shit. Yeah. Yes, and you're topless. Yes. Oh, and I'm going to get my lips done when we're home. Okay, perfect. So I can kiss and suck. Oh, my God. Mm. You're going <laughs> to kiss and suck so hard on your so mom's much. teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Mm, mommy, mommy, mommy. Mommy's milk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was a gross time on TikTok. What? Mommy's milk. Yeah. Mommy's milkers. That sound. Oh, yeah. you want a oh, milky? Gross. Oh, gross, man. TikTok's a dirty place. I mean, we the boobies just resurfaced. Remember we talked about this yeah. on the pod a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Grace's was pussy lips. Mine mm-hmm. was titties everywhere. Yeah. Gia finally is on the train. Yeah, I was sitting in the chair getting my hair done, oh. and this TikTok came up, and the caption was just, if I see my boyfriend, or if I li- hear my boyfriend uh, watching this TikTok with this sound, I'm going to kill him. And I mm-hmm. said, oh. What's Curiosity. going on with the sound? Clicked it. It's a Morgan Wallen song, and it's just these Last women in tank tops, the and they top. they look at the camera, sexy, and then they turn around and pop one titty out. They and pop it, them out, and it's just full, one titty though, just full one nip- nipple titty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop them all. Let me see one titty. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> but then, so I was trying to show my friends, and I was like, oh my god, look at these like one titty poppers and then they were all the videos were unavailable yeah because mm. as they should be yeah i know like, but how, where were they like did i get them right in time you know what just i mean just in time for just the in titty time drop. for just one single titty. you were the chosen one yeah <laughs> yeah like the chosen mean, tit yeah. i felt really honored yeah. but i was confused mm. yeah it's because i can't, we can't even say the f word on our show like we have to what curse the fuck <laughs> yeah like Wait. I'm gonna have to bleep that. Sorry, fuck or, or cut it. <laughs> fuck, 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 yeah. fuck, 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 fuck. Well, we, we can't say, say it fuck. On this show. We can't say it shit? on TikTok. No, can we can't say, say shit either. Can can't say, say shit. Can you say bitch? Yeah, we can say. Can bitch. You say bitchin'. That's bitchin'. Yeah, that's fucking bitchin'. We can say bitch. We can't shit. say like pussy. Can't say dick. Can't say cunt. Mm. But what about uh? They can show one titty, and that's fine. But we can't say bitch or slut. What's wrong with this country? It's them damn nuns, uh-huh. them drag nuns yep. that go to the Dodgers games and fuck up baseball for the wrestlers. I mean, I'm such a baseball fan. It's out of control. Man. Hit a dinger. Hit oh. a dinger. Pack a lip. Oh, oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. Give me a yeah. crap yeah. smoke on. Damn, I'm trying to be like y'all. <laughs> I wish I had a southern draw. Really? Just for tonight. Yeah. I just, just want like tonight. I like one night where I wish every night of the week you could press a button and have a new accent. Ooh. That'd well, you fun. can if you do it. Oh, I know, but I'm just not good at it. That would be funny if we tried to do an accent all day long. Yeah. I mean, we're already faking our accent anyways. Yeah, true. So we already do it for a living. <laughs> I made one video and some someone commented, "Is this your actual voice? It's so beautiful." I'm like, "What? When is it not?" Uh, yeah, I hate the accent thing. It's like, dude, let us just talk and live and ride out life, man. We literally just life is a Dodgers game. Life is a Dodgers game, and I just keep losing. Fuck! What kind? Of, what city is the Dodgers are? L A. Uh, L A. That was good English. What city? You do be the wearing Dodgers you do be wearing their hats quite often. Yeah, and then people always come to me. You a real L A fan? I'm like, I don't even know what you talked about. Dodgers like, hat. This city. Oh my god, I just like the colors. <laughs> Ding a do. Ding a do. I want to go to a friggin'. I want to go to friggin'. I want France? to go to frig. No, I don't want to go to France. I want to go to um. <laughs> well, you're so beautiful there. Um, <laughs> I want to go to a mother fucking baseball game at Yankee Stadium. Thank you. Finally. Oh, oh my god, it's my favorite thing to do, literally. I want to go to Billy's. What oh, Billy's is so fun. Fenway, bro. Well, I've just never been to Fenway. I mean, I've never been to fuck Yankee what is it called? Yankee Stadium. Yeah, it's that easy. <laughs> it's literally that. Bustle Sports. <laughs> Walkie slush. Um yeah, well dude, that's like fucked. Yeah, no, dude, I just want to go to a game. I don't know. I want to go Boston. I want to go Boston. No, I'm Yankees. a Phillies fan, and I love going to Yankee Stadium. It's just so fun. Billy's is so fun. The chicken bucket is so fucking good. Uh, that the chicken right bucket yeah. is, like, pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go for I the chicken. Mama, mama. I'll stay for the baseball. <laughs> Hell yeah. But I'm going to sit there like this, watching the baseball game. And you get and some... Say, hit a dang a bitch. Hit a dang a... Come you, on. If I'm you sit in the bleachers, lip. you get, like, the hilarious Guido, like, New Yorker <laughs> guys, like, Long Island guys. It's so funny. They're like, hey, come on. I, one time I was carrying two Bud Lights. They're like... Oh, you're really going to drink that? Ah. I'm like, oh my God. You oh, why? Because Bud Light's yeah, uh, ruined America? They, they mm-hmm. just don't care about like 
any like um respect for others they no. just say whatever and they're yelling and screaming and it's very good people watching i still want to get for real the bud light thing i can't believe it it just <laughs> blows my mind i hate to admit it publicly but my father who's been drinking bud light since 1986 when mm-hmm. it came out has switched to pbr and he's not homophobic he's not transphobic we all we have him in the family but Fox News says so, so Fox News is right. Yeah, the dangle with those nuns. And my dad just watches Fox News with dip hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> hey, old Mickey, how you doing? Hey, Mick, sorry. <laughs> well, you know what? Be better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not really on us, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I still love, I drink Bud Light all the time. That's, I, my, I, that's I, my go-to beer. Imagine uh, Gia was secretly like, not drinking Bud Light anymore. <laughs> She's just sitting there like, these fucking libtards. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Libtards I, is I'm the definition word. of a libtard. <laughs> Literally. Who cares, I'm drinking man. the Kool-Aid. <laughs> I'm drinking a little lap. <laughs> Wait, I saw a super old clip for the first time last night of Burt Kreischer where he's carrying around. He's carrying around like a 64-ounce fucking water bottle. And his co-host was like, what are you, what are you drinking? He's like, Kool-Aid. And he's like, there's no way you're drinking Kool-Aid. <laughs> Kool-Aid. And he's like, yeah, I'm drinking Kool-Aid. And he's like... <laughs> What kind of red, obviously. And he's like, no, you're not drinking a 64 ounce of Kool-Aid. He pours it in, drinking a 64 ounce of Kool-Aid. They start crying, laughing. And the guy's like, everyone's looking at him being like, wow, he drinks a lot of water. But it's just a bucket of Kool-Aid. It's Kool-Aid. It's just a bucket of Kool-Aid. That is so funny, man. I want to meet him so bad. Oh, he's a freaking legend. His um his clip from Sunday Conversations where he's talking about how awesome it is to drink and that he will never stop. It's the best. It's, it's motivation to keep doing what I'm doing wrong. Yeah. It's awesome awesome it's like he's like it's nothing like you're on an airplane and they're like hey, do you want to drink and i'm like yeah can i get two yeah or if you're you're out to brunch and they're like it's bottomless say no more it's, it's like the best. what the hell man it's just life is good i'm bummed out uh they had a they had a beer olympics down down I in nashville saw that. did it's you see the crew they were star studded cast i would like to just be an observer if they sold yeah. tickets to that i'd buy vip yeah i'd sit behind the fence absolutely just will walk. compton can suck my dick but oh yeah no nah, kidding i think we made up you'll suck his <laughs> He has a wife. I know. I'm kidding. There's you can only score if there's a goalie. <laughs> Dude, I'm just Play literally some football kidding. defense. Don't say that. I'm just kidding. I'm talking Dude. to myself. All right, guys. Quick commercial break. You can face the intensity with Takis, the most intense snack ever. Takis makes the best and most intense snacks like the Takis Waves, Kettles, Hot Nuts, Takis Sticks, Takis Pops, and Takis Rolls. And for the people who still want the intensity without the spice, you must try their intense nacho. These are my personal favorite. Their first non-spicy Takis flavor. Insanely cheesy. Still super intense. Takis snacks are the perfect snack for any occasion road trips gaming watching tv chilling hang out with friends no matter what you're doing having taki snacks on hands makes the day so much better so if you haven't tried them yet make sure you do you can try takis today and face the intensity let's get back to the episode i think i finally quieted it down <laughs> <laughs> oh damn she got her rocks off real good <laughs> Uh, are we in trouble? <laughs> I don't want to be in trouble. <laughs> I asked for a raise recently, and I, I don't think like I'm Joey always <laughs> jokes about that kind of stuff. Okay. But Joey can. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we're in trouble all the time. I don't That's just our trouble. mentality. Yeah. yeah. I do. I, I, I feel I that I'm in trouble way. walking down the street. Dude. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, what did I do? Every day I walk into the office, I'm like, S- I did something wrong. I know. And I always think someone's looking at me for like a bad thought in <laughs> their head. I'm like, dude, what did I do? I say sorry before I even do anything. I know. <laughs> I say sorry so much. I'm waiting for my elevator. I do it every Every single day i'm waiting for my elevator at my in my apartment somebody's on the elevator i go sorry yeah why why, just why are you getting sorry on the for getting on the elevator I and know. joining i know i think like women just apologize for like everything i gotta stop saying sorry yeah i know and then i say sorry for saying sorry oh God, i'm like sorry i'm sorry. Oh, sorry i shouldn't say sorry <laughs> i was talking to fucking um chris josh's josh's manager and he's i always say sorry and he's like stop saying sorry and i'm like sorry and he's like stop saying sorry for saying sorry and i'm like i'm oh, sorry it's a big run around i'm not sorry i am unapologetically not sorry man they start crying and weeping and then send him a letter that says sorry sorry for being so weak man just a weak minded gal no you're strong and you're brave and you have all the answers and you're a witch um i have something in I'm my so notes brave. on my phone okay um it was <laughs> It was a shroom idea that I had. Um, I don't know if I even said it out loud, but I put it in my notes. And when you were on stage at the Zach Bryan concert, oh, ZB, I was like, I was like, oh, that kind of stinks for um, her boyfriend a little bit, maybe. Mm-hmm. And so I had an idea for this show that um, it's called My Girlfriend's a Witch, and she gets everything she wants, and <laughs> and unfortunately for him, he does not luck out. Wait, this is a segment or just a... No, this was going to be a... Uh, it's going to be on CBS. Oh, <laughs> um, oh. 
Whoa, whoa. What's yes. that Will Ferrell movie with Nicole Kidman? She's a witch. Oh, Bewitched. Yeah, Bewitched. Yes. Isn't that like kind of that? I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's yeah. just a, the new big thing. They've already done that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Will Ferrell takes sure I'm yeah, sure. But mine's real. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nicole Can Kidman you manifest not. something for me? See, I don't know if it works that Ugh. way. And it also, like, I only manifest things that I know are plausible, mm, right? Okay. So, like, I don't sit here and say, I'm going to be a millionaire. Because I'm like, you know what, what, maybe one day that's in the books. Yeah, but getting on stage with Zach Bryant, I mean, I guess that is kind of more plausible. It's more, uh, but I didn't even, but that's the thing. I didn't even say before the show, I'm going on stage. But you, you, but you, you made, said, I'm going to be his but back, but background singer. But I didn't singer. manifest it. So it's just you like things to... that I want, I guess, subconsciously come true. <gasps> Good. For, You're yeah. like Lindsay Lohan from Just My Luck. Yes. In the beginning. Yes. It's you just, are. It's just subconscious and I'm, things. And I'm, I'm Chris Pine. I'm when she switches. Yeah, I'm Chris Pine. <laughs> but I, we're we're I, like, Chris Pine. I fall in the dog shit. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's and like. a ladder I, falls on her head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, guys. You better. I But I think I think of like. It's, but then I look back and I'm like, I do things to make it happen. Yeah. Like little things. You're so it's a like go-getter. Yeah. It's just like, you know what? Something I want, let's make it happen. I hmm. think what's good. And then I blame it on being a witch, but it's just like, go get that shit. I think I have good karma, though, though too. Good, yeah. It ha- I have to. I mean. Things are always work out. They really do. And I'm like, all right. And you're you're on, you're on a, a winning streak. Ah, that means losing comes soon, huh? No. Because like that's a bad mentality. <laughs> As a bad mentality. <laughs> mentality. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. It's like, if you win and you win it. Well, then, you don't yeah. have to wait for the loss. Well, then you have a bad mentality, too. You keep saying, I'm a loser. I'm a loser. I'm <laughs> a oh, big fat loser. <laughs> no, see, bad. Shut up, Grace. Okay. Because if you keep saying, I'm a big loser, then you're going to be a big loser. <laughs> I'm a big, big loser. I'm, the, I'm America's biggest loser. No, see. Without losing the weight. Because you actually believe it. <laughs> yeah. No, stop. What? Stop. Get that finger out of my face. No, you point at yourself and say, I'm not a loser. <laughs> I'm not doing these, these run well, you're going to keep you being a loser. Loser, Grace. If you keep, you're gonna keep yeah, losing. You're, got, you're having the opposite mentality for yourself than you are. With yeah. Three. So it actually, you are a witch too. You just everything you says comes true. Mm. So yeah. you have to have a more positive mentality. Okay. Easier said than done. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's true. Just say I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. We'll start with small wins. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna ride that convertible, and it's gonna be so cool. I'm gonna ride that convertible. It's gonna be so cool, and I'm gonna get fucking laid. Yeah. That's. Yeah. But here's the thing. I think what you do is, um, you like beat around the bush to a bigger dream okay so it's like so it's like you made your tiktok and said i'm gonna be the backup dancer yeah it's still in the realm yes but it was even bigger than that yeah you know yeah no i get what you're saying yeah i I just came up with a really good idea for you to do perfect when you get your convertible you should like (laughs) (laughs) you should you should go to like the cape or like a little bougie town in massachusetts Mm -hmm. and like pretend like your car's broken down oh and be like obviously or drop her keys oh and just gets robbed my convertible (laughs) and i'm and i'm already dressed in the chances yeah yeah yeah, accent oh i'm dressed as an accent yeah and And big sunglasses on you're like you should wear like a like a, a sun dress. dress. Yeah. Yes. And you bring a fan. Yes. And I'm yeah. I'm pup in the back. And I'm, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, like no Megan one Fox and Transformers. See that? <laughs> yes, they do. Okay. Yeah, they yeah, do. They do. Mm-hmm. Like Megan Fox and Transformers. Oh yes. my god, yeah. I think I was gay for that. Oh yeah. I think that I think little was, booty shorts. I was yeah. gay. For Come that. on, man. everyone was either gay or straight for that. Yeah. 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 She turned she turned the world together. She brought the world together. <laughs> yeah. She really did race relations with that fucking one. Everyone came together and said we can all agree on one thing, and that's Megan Fox is hot hot as fuck and then news broke about the thumbs and the whole yeah. world went to shit. Yeah. My, my sister has those thumbs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she does. Yeah. Your sister has a hot trainer. He who's does. Irish. She does. Yes. yes. The Irish yank. Yeah. He's got a wife. I don't think so. Well, you're hmm. looking at the future. One I don't really right know now. much about Tell him, to be honest, but he was at um, JB's thing. Oh, and yes, did, he's he's never never talked to yeah. Him. yeah. And I was so nervous. I had to walk away. <laughs> was that like, happened. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? How are you And I said, oh, I forgot to go. <laughs> I've got to go. All right. Oh, oh, my drink's still full. I got to go get it over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Yeah. yeah, it's all right. Um, I had something would else to say. Would you ever date your trainer? Um, well, I would never have a trainer. You had one. Yeah. And then I, <laughs> I went one time to the trainer. <laughs> And I had a fucking heart attack, <laughs> and it was so embarrassing. I never went back. That's why I never started. <laughs> yeah. I, well, you don't take you don't take twenty milligrams of Adderall. 
<laughs> 60 milligrams of Ivans and oh drink God, an Alex Grace. Earl special <laughs> beverage. <laughs> you don't do that. That's just, a, that's a heart attack without even working out. Yeah. Yeah. By the end, I was like, oh, I can't breathe. There's, There's actually like, are you nothing okay? scarier than taking too much pre-workout. Oh my God. I, didn't, I thought it was all a facade. I was like literally no, it's pulling real. trig, trying to make it like get out of my body. Oh, yeah. I had three energy awful. drinks last night and he stayed up all night thinking of how to change the world. <laughs> you ripping your hair out? Yes. Uh, I think I lost a lot of hair last Did night. Did you change the world? Oh, it's coming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put that into the uh, manifestation Ma- mm-hmm. manifesto. Manifesto. <laughs> well, we have to get our we have to get journals and we have to write every. That, I think that would be funny if we have if anything funny happens when we're home. Yes. We just take out our little journal pad and we write it down. That's perfect. Or even like little thoughts or little sayings, we just write it down and we, then we try to remember or recall what they meant on next week's episode. Absolutely. That's good. That's good because when we do it on our notes, we forget about them. Yeah. I try to do it sometimes, but it doesn't fucking. It'll work. feel cooler if we're just mysterious and whip out a fucking notepad. We're gonna get we're like. Sh- on One by second. our guy friends and then we'll shit right back in their mouths mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and we'll mean it and we'll actually do it because we back our shit up over here absolutely uh-huh. some people don't back their shit up Mm-mm. i'm going back to the hamptons next weekend that's crazy i'm uh, never gonna fucking see it uh, no you will it'll be sick though yeah. you'll I, so many fun people that live there i think maybe i could bring you to that one <laughs> okay i'll just say hey can i bring her to this one <laughs> right yeah, i mean it's worth an ask oh yeah it's definitely worth an ask i hate asking for things that's i'm gonna be better i'm gonna ask for what i deserve mm-hmm. I, I deserve to be able to ask for something <laughs> i deserve to have my best friend there please we're best you guys all stink like potty to do <laughs> i don't even know who's going but maybe it'll be epic i mean yeah i mean you already said that you love everyone in the hamptons they're very cool they're very chill yeah, they're gonna be super everyone welcoming has a lot of fun mm-hmm. and they're like kind of broke yeah i know <laughs> i love hanging out with like broke people yeah mm-hmm. it's humbling mm-hmm. i'm so broke <laughs> <laughs> i'm afraid to check my bank account oh, after yeah. vacation yon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ugh. I spent, I thought, okay, so when you go on vacation, like mm-hmm. you spend it, you spend the lump sum before you're like, buy the flights, buy the hotel, like you get your outfits for the fucking thing. And you're like, all right, that's it. I spent all the money. And yep. you're like, I put a couple, a couple away for the, for the fucking vacation. Then you come back, you triple that just yeah. by being there. Mm-hmm. It's out of control. That's why you got to go all inclusive. Yeah, but all inclusive, you get food poisoning. You do. You do. <laughs> all, uh, that's what uh, my whole family kept saying, dude. Everyone's like, dude, we got to do all inclusive <laughs> next time. Like, we're all like opening our wallets, being like, oh, we've got Bahami and $1 in here. We just got poker <laughs> chips that uh, we brought from fucking Vegas that don't even translate. It's like you get them in the airport. And then we're just like, we can't do this. And, and then we're like, we'll, we'll just do all inclusive. And then it's like, we look up the all inclusives and it's like, you just, you're going to get sick there. <laughs> They're going to get really sick. And the alcohol is just like, it's like uh, it's hand sanitizer oh my god it's so gross there's just no winning unless you're winning in the financial department that's true <sighs> that's true yeah. that's what we're gonna get so we're gonna start winning yeah let's I mean, just start playing the lottery fucking no 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 i have that that is where my luck is bad and i know it and leave it alone <sighs> should i just I? leave it well yeah well, maybe all right let's see if that uh, i'll just start oh. buying scratch tickets yeah a little here, i'll just a little get there. addicted mm-hmm See, I have a theory that they're your not going to Your dad's let... addicted to scratch tickets. Yeah. What's your theory? Um, he likes the crossword ones. You know, the pain in the ass ones that take forever. Yeah, because you know you're going to lose, so it's better to draw it out thinking maybe you'll win. Yeah. That's just <laughs> kind of life. And, yeah, that, well, that's true. Wow, you're very um, smart. <laughs> I was trying to think of a more um, smarter word. Um, but I will say, uh, nothing was more embarrassing than when my dad would pick me up from school or sports. And I played sports. And um, we'd go to 7-Eleven and he had to scratch it in the parking lot. Oh. And all my guy friends are rolling up in their bikes and they're all like getting Slurpees and stuff. And I'm just there with my dad in the work van while he's scratching his scratch. I guess I'm like, what's up, guys? Wait, hey we were, guys. Tommy Smokes was talking about, I saw a clip of Tommy Smokes talking about this. But why was it so embarrassing to be seen with your parents? Yeah, Seriously. They're just your pa- They just gave birth to you. They're just your parents. Where else are you going to be? Well, and you're, you're a child. <laughs> Who are you going to be with? <laughs> like, why is it like you can't be with your parents? <laughs> That's crazy, actually. Yeah, and you were so... I was mortified. I'm like, dude, I mortified. can't. Like, I'll just walk along. Dude, I literally... I think it's because you... Th- it makes you... When you're that age, you're like, if they see me with my parents, they're going to think I have no friends and I have to hang out with my parents because yeah. they're my only friends. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's just so embarrassing being seen with your parents. Also, my dad had a car that was, you could hear it come. It was like, you could hear it coming from another town away. It was like, uh, it was breaking every time we put the ignition And on. it was a stick shift. And there was, was nothing worse. Uh, uh, nothing I was like, worse than getting a ride from him when you were hungover. Oh, my God. And you're God. in high school trying to play it cool. And I'm like, <laughs> dude, I literally was like, you 
you have to drop me off around the block. Like, I was like, dude, this is so embarrassing. Like the movies. Yeah. I was like, dude. <laughs> One random day, my dad decided to buy a Fiat. You know, those really tiny ass cars. Yeah. We got like a tricked out one. Oh, God. So it was really one loud. One of those hamster cars? <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're yeah. like the two seater and it was stick shift. And it sounded like, like a Lamborghini was coming down the street. And then it's just this little clown car. <laughs> so I would literally be so mortified when uh-huh. like my mom or dad would, they're like, we're taking the Fiat. Be like, no, no. Don't make me yeah, do it. it sounds like it's gonna be cool. And, yeah, because she'd be sitting in front, like in front of the lobby, like waiting, and then she had to like turn it in, like do the stick shift, and when she do the stick shift, but <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is a go kart. Like, why do we own this? I don't, we were talking about that too. Why do we? Why would people rather do more work to drive a car, like a fucking? I don't understand. Why would you want to have a, a stick shift? Our convertible will not have a stick shift. Well, because we don't know how to drive them. <laughs> nope. And I don't have my license. You know it is kind of cool to be able to drive Kendall stick shift, though. Oh. We're she can drive not stick talk shift. about them anymore. <laughs> yeah, she can drive stick shift. It was in the new season. She was teaching Kylie how to drive it. Oh, she was. Mm-hmm. She's and not then, one of the other girls. She was so thrilled to hang out with her little sis. I'm like, dude, don't y'all like chill? You're a family. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They're busy, though. They're busy. Mm-hmm. They're a lot busier than this. Stormy seems like just a good kid. Oh, I think I have adorable. baby fever. Oh, okay. I know. And it's this fucked. is like uh, every three months, I'd say you say that. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck, man. It's but okay. We could get a dog. I need to go get my infertility checked. Mm. Mm. Do you so want do to I. know? Yeah, I would like to know now so I could get ahead of it so that oh. I'm not 40 and Can you get ableist. that checked? Yeah. Ugh, I'm too scared, I think. I mean, I'm clearly infertile. Mm. I'm a cum dumpster. <laughs> That's my girl. And I'm not on birth control. So I'm literally <laughs> infertile. I guess I got it checked. I checked it myself. Yeah. Uh, ch- you just got checked under the hood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe maybe uh he just got he just got bad sperm. Yeah. yeah. I mean maybe he needs an oil change. Yeah, maybe he's got no good swimmers. <laughs> I can only think in terms of cars. Uh-huh. Yeah, because we're talking manual <laughs> stick shifts. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. So I don't I guess I don't need to get a check, but I need to get it fixed. It would be good. So I need to go to the mechanic. Oh well, yeah, well mm. the mechanic's gonna tell you uh, I don't know what I can do for you except for freeze your eggs, maybe. <gasps> I don't it, know how any of that shit works. I don't I mean you're you IVF? were pre med. I mean, dude, that was four scores and seven years ago. Doesn't I, it seem crazy? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can't even remember what we talked about last week on this podcast. You think I can remember anything about school? I'll, I'll, I'll do you one better. I don't know what the hell I did yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no clue. I was with you. Okay. We, oh, we had brunch. We had dinner. We had lunch. We at had the park. Separate. You had a sandwich. I had a sandwich. I had a Chipotle. <laughs> okay. We sat on a bench. We did. We talked about stuff. I took a phone call from someone. Dude, I'm so <laughs> stupid. Okay, yeah. See? So this is what I'm talking We're just stupid. Yeah. That's okay. Things are looking up. I took a phone I was like, Grace, I had this phone call with this company. And um, I'm like, fuck, I got to take it. So I, I take the phone call. For the first five minutes of this phone call, I think I'm talking to someone that is not who I'm talking to. It was a completely different company, a completely different conversation. And the first five minutes of this phone call, I'm like, wow, they really do a lot. Like... <laughs> They have a lot of avenues over here. What are we talking about? <laughs> and then she finally like said her name or like the company. I was like, wow, I thought this was a totally different person and a totally different conversation. Had it all wrong. Had it all wrong. And then I sat down and I was like, Grace, I'm just an idiot. Well, you got to start saving your numbers. Yeah. I don't save any numbers. Yeah. I had someone text me. Someone random texted me the other day. I was, I was home alone. It was like 1130 at night. And they're like, yo, what are you doing? I'm like, oh. Uh, nothing. Who's this? <laughs> I said, wrong number. <laughs> oh, man. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? I don't know. Maybe they thought you were out and they just wanted to meet out. People have been getting my number recently. Mm. I think it's just people from home giving out our numbers. So. Mm. Right? Yeah, I mean. Because I've been getting FaceTimes and I answer them always. But I, I put my answer. hand over to see who it is. And then they always go, whoa. And then I hang up. <laughs> <laughs> Remember those bullies that were FaceTiming fucking us? Fucking high school fucking oh, bullies. Oh, yeah, that was funny. We were, were you we talking were, about LA? Yeah. Yeah. LA, yeah. 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 And I was like. You're going to die. Yeah. I'm going to kill you. Yeah, like, You're going to fucking die. And they, they were yelling over that saying, Fatty, hey, we got the big fatty. Yeah, that was, they were bad event. guys. It was people from <coughs> Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I think they said they were from Jersey. Yeah. I, thought, hey, I thought it was people. I thought it was people that we knew from home. It was during bad times that people hated us, right? No, no, no. Oh. Well, bad guys do bad things. Yeah, and that's, that's just fact. what it is. That's just what it that's equals what out. It that's just life, man. Um... My oh, remember I was telling you about the freaking realtor who had to see my apartment to show it to other people. We just this is also another thing. We've got to start saying no when things are illegal. Yeah, that was illegal. So fill them in. So uh, I think I mentioned it, but uh, the realtor 
wanted to show my apartment before I was even out of there. And my room's a fucking hell fuck. Mm-hmm. And it's it's no good. And so it actually got me to clean my room because I thought I had to let him in. <laughs> Anyways, he shows up. He's eating ice cream. He's a fucking douchebag. He's, he's yelling at me, yelling at my roommate. It was bad. Anyways, three days after he showed my house, I get a text. Hey, this is blah, blah, blah. I'm moving into your apartment after you. D- are you planning on keeping anything in your apartment i was like why the hell did he give my number to this person and didn't even text you and ask you if he could do that i just feel like that's weird that's so weird wrong. i was like yeah i was like yeah but i'm leaving a couch <laughs> yeah you can have it it doesn't fit in there <laughs> it's a dirty couch <laughs> yeah. that couch has been through a lot that was my bed it was my home it was used to be in ohio <laughs> then was it <laughs> yeah oh, shit. it traveled to the dungeon apartment then <laughs> yeah. it traveled to your dungeon apartment <laughs> And now it's going to stay in the dungeon. <laughs> it sure will. Yeah. There's like that, blood on it. Yeah. And scratch marks and yeah. Yeah. It's a sad couch. It's a sad couch. Maybe that's why we keep losing because that couch has, has bad, bad juju. Bad juju. Yeah. Well, I'm not the worst from the that black couch. magic phase that we went through. I know. That was terrible. <sighs> that was terrible. No more black magic. Oh. Don't, don't say, say it one again. more time because three know. times it's like Beetlejuice. Back. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't even deal Wait, with that. Wait, it was so funny. Okay. You know, Beetlejuice, like, how do you spell red? R L F E R. Um, so <laughs> Joey, I hope you guys know who fucking Beetlejuice is. Do you know who Beetlejuice is, Gia? Yeah, the scary guy. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. No. Oh. See, this is where. Well, that oh, is wait, also Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, the little oh, guy the from other Be- the other Beetlejuice. Yes. Yes. Beetlejuice, the little guy. Yeah. 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 Yeah, One time I thought that my Uber driver was Beetlejuice. Yeah. I'd yeah. be scared for my life. Yeah. He can't see. He is three feet tall. I don't know if you guys have ever got a visual on this guy <laughs> next to like a, a normal sized person. <laughs> He's everything in the, like, I want to meet that guy so fucking bad. But anyways, I posted a TikTok and I was like, dude, this is awesome. Cause Joey had never um, heard of Beetlejuice, that guy before. The hell? And I was like, this is awesome. Like you get to experience him for the first time. So I posted the TikTok and all my comments are like, dude, that movie is epic. Like, <laughs> I'm like, no guys, you guys don't know there's Beetlejuice. There's two Beetlejuices. Yeah. There's. I don't know who's a. I mean, the real Beetlejuice. Yeah, is L E F E R. Yes, and then the movie Beetlejuice is based on him. <laughs> no, it's not. I mean, no. But have you like, never seen the other Beetlejuice? No, I have. He's black and white, and Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, but and, like, and green all over. Yeah, <laughs> but dude, like that's not the real Beetlejuice to me because that's a fake. There's a real guy named Beetlejuice running around. Yes, Howard Stern's sidekick. Awesome. Howard Stern's fucked. Yeah. He would just invite special needs people onto a show and literally make them play games yeah. to make fun of them. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, I, I, it's like I know, a bad I, dude, I man. Like I know, I, yeah, that's just fucking insane. It's just crazy. That yeah, just is what it is. Um, can you do a good world of t-shirts impression? What does band mean? <laughs> <laughs> dude, no. Okay, did we talk about this on the pod yet? What? Band of t- world of t-shirts? Band of t-shirts. <laughs> What does he band together? Do? I feel bad for him. Oh, yeah. No, I know. No, yeah, Brie. Uh, yeah, we've talked like, about this. Dude, I can't believe people... I understand him being a meme because he makes himself a meme. Yeah. And he does all that shit on the internet. But there's people like following him around in real life. Yeah. Like throwing shit at him, stealing his... Dude, how many times can you get your hat stolen? I know. Like just like absolutely screaming at him. I know. And he's autistic. He's talked about being autistic. It's like, what, how is any? How is that funny to anyone? I know. And it's, and it's getting them all riled up, exactly what they want. Yeah, and like of course it's, it's going to be his reaction. He's lashing out. I also, know. he has no family. He's drunk all day. I'm like, I you know. guys are weirdo fucking. And it's all in, incel fucking little kids that are like on messenger boards. 14-year-olds have a... Oh, having yeah. a field day with it. They're, Discord, like, they're oh, he's be- on 7th and 8th. <laughs> yeah, it's just scary that he's live all the time in his real, like, location. I like, know. he could really get himself hurt. And it's scary because he has no one to tell him not to do that, which I is know. like, fuck. Someone needs to, I mean, I guess we could take him under our wing. Yeah, I'd love to have him on. I don't think he would want to be a part of us, though. That's okay. We could try, though. I've yeah. already thought about, like, we've got to help this guy. I, I don't know. know how to do it. I don't want to do it in being, like, a demeaning way. Mm. Just he needs help. I know, he needs help. He needs guidance. He needs guidance. That's, that's it. all. He has all these bad guys around him. The Michael Quinn guy. Yeah, I know. That's what I was. I, I think he's a bad guy. I just. He feel, is. I, I just think he takes advantage of him. Yeah. Obviously. Which is really sad. It's like, dude, what the fuck? Why does anyone have a heart? Yeah. These poor guys. Um, but the 
uh, people at Barstool hung out with him and they were super nice to yeah, him. They were yeah, I know. I saw this clip of Marty and I thought it was really cute when he <laughs> hit his head on the golf cart. Marty was like rubbing his back because he was like, ah, like, I'm going to sue them. Like, whatever. <laughs> Marty was like, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. <laughs> like, rubbing needs. his Someone back. calm him yeah. down. Yeah. yeah. Not and they're like telling record. him like not to drink that much. They're like, you, like, don't drink that much. Like, you don't have to drink. He's like, it's Monday. I have to drink. They're like, you don't have to do well, anything. Sounds like us. I know. Yeah. <laughs> It's Monday. It's, it's, it's on Tuesdays. <laughs> oh, it's Tuesday. We have to. We have to. We didn't get to. I thought we were going to get crazy last night, and we didn't, which was good. Well, I had to go. Yeah. I had, I had a show to And we could have got crazy after, but we didn't. Oh, yeah, no. But we didn't. It was good. Yeah. Still was stayed good. up till the fucking sun came up, so it's like, what? Yeah, I know. I should have just came over. I know. I um I slept at your boyfriend's house with you. Yes. W- without him. <laughs> um. Yes. Yeah, so he's in California, and I'm going to be traveling a lot with the cats, so I didn't want to bring i didn't want to do more traveling with the cats than i have to because they get all stressed out yeah so i was like i'll just stay there with them until he comes back and uh i invited grace over because it was fucking hot yeah and my ac is broken and he's got it made he's got the best ac he's got the the best ac in all of manhattan yeah my ac is broken too (sighs) it's on but it doesn't it's on Dude, what the fuck? No, nah, it's all right. No, things are looking up. When because because if you say, oh, I'd love to be cool when I get home, your AC is gonna work, and that's how you operate. I'm gonna be cool when I get home. Sure is. Hell damn straight. Tell you're always cool to me, man. You got anything in your notes for the left for the Thursday up? Uh, let's find out. Let's find out. And don't you worry, cause I'm going um behind the scenes to watch what happens live tonight oh yeah francesca and Rhea are bartenders that's so cool yeah. wait they're on watch what happens oh, live with Andy Cohen. Andy Cohen. Oh, that's sick. yeah what the yeah. hell so sh- francesca is letting me come and i get to sit backstage and watch i'm so wait, excited do you know who's the guest no i don't know them because i don't really know bravo people it, one is a real housewives of something and then one lady i don't really know what her deal is mm. what's like yeah. what happens on that show so, like, it's usually after an episode of, let's say, um, Vanderpump Rules. So, yeah. like, va- the Vanderpump Rules finale aired, and then Watch What Happens Live comes on after, and Andy and they had um, Ariana and Sheena on after. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Cool. That's fun. Yeah, I'm You're excited. super excited. Are you going to wear something cool? I'm go- I think, right? Do you dress up? Because everyone dresses up for that, Yeah, no? yeah. Like, like, I know Rhea and Francesca are definitely going to have to wear, like, something sexy very outfit. cool. Oh, I yeah. can't wait to watch. Yeah. yeah. I cable, it's live though. tonight at Neither 9, so... I thought, and I was wondering if it was actually live, but it is. Yeah, so it wasn't supposed to be, and they were supposed to have, like, Luann and someone else. Yeah, I know, but it changed, so they're doing it tonight, but tonight's actually live. Yeah. Money can't buy you class. Did you see somebody edited... Um, one of her songs to sound like it's just saying cunt. <laughs> That's awesome. Wait, like that. Money can't buy you cunt. It's obviously, am I saved? Obviously. <laughs> uh, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, just, uh, oh. In the meantime, my mom just called me back and texted me. Hi, Brian. I'm sorry. I didn't answer. I was following a GPS. I'm coming from Rosie's house. Can you text me? Gonna come home soon. Need to come home. Let me get you. What's going on? You could send me a text. Sent with Siri. That was all through Siri. And then in all capitals, no, no, and no. But you are the best baby ever. Aww. That's awesome. Okay, we're... I'm so glad we got to the bottom of that. Yeah, that no, no, and no. That means she listened to the voicemail while she's driving, probably being like, what the fuck is going on? Ow. <laughs> Did you find it? Uh, no. Fuck. Okay, no, know. no, and no. Yeah, it's this oh, one. This is her voice. Okay, okay she found it. <laughs> I hope you keep on serving God. <laughs> keep on serving God. God, 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 God. Keep on serving God. God, 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 God. Okay. Keep on serving Get God. Get you on God, summit on this. Yeah, kind of a banger. Keep on serving God. God, God, God. Okay. Okay. Damn. Damn. Awesome. Wait, I'm going to like hell? make a dance to that. <laughs> yeah, if John Summit put that in a song. Oh banger. my God. What the hell? Well, why don't we do it? You have a... DJ board. Oh, yeah. Let's get <laughs> DJ in. DJ Breezy on the track. Yeah. Oh, did you ever come up with your DJ name? Uh, Pags. Oh, Pags, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. What's your DJ name? Ooh, I don't know. G Money. Oh, Ooh. fuck. T- taken. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. No, you could, Yours could be G and not Judice. PPW? <laughs> PP. Poop, yeah. Poopy Wiener. Poopy no, Wiener gotta hit 10K. <laughs> gotta retire Poopy yeah. Wiener. Yeah. Well, Poopy Wiener just hit 10K on it. On oh, Ticket let's go. Hey, thanks, guys. I messaged you. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Today, she was like, you're not even going to congratulate me? Like, what the hell? I was like, you didn't give me flowers or like a balloon? Or I'm like, I got her 10K balloon. <laughs> oh, damn it. Damn. Missed opportunity. I was already on my way here when you hit the big mile. No, it's so fun. <laughs> I, was, I was kidding. Very much kidding. Next milestone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One million. 
One million. One million. Go to a million. To one mil, baby. Poopy wiener. Um, um, do you have a boat name? I just want to kind of get this off. Oh, off. Break wind. Break wind. <laughs> oh, you poop Gia. fest. You fart bag. Gia. Oh, there she goes. On. She can't. She's gonna lose it. The Gia laugh poop <laughs> come can. Come on, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that's good. That's good for that's a twelve-year-old. <laughs> what is it? Poop, catch wind. Break wind. Break wind. Break wind. Oh, God. It's a sailboat, if you will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just farting her ass through the fucking Mediterranean Sea. Nobody can hear me fart. No. <laughs> you don't even need an engine. No. You no. Just fart. <laughs> what is yours? Um, <laughs> how it float. Mm. <laughs> Because how does the boat float? And also, how it float? You guys see the new fucking mega cruise ship that's about to hit the water? All I can think of is the Titanic and sinking. I yeah. know. I, w- I don't think you could pay me to get on a cruise ship, to be honest. Unless it was a private small one with like 50 people. I don't fear death, so you could I'd do anything. Mm. Wait, did you guys did you guys hear the... And this is one... Think about your boat name, but I just wanted to... Just pags the boat. Pags the boat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everything's pags. Mm-hmm. Pags to the pags to the pags. Mm-hmm. My dad's getting a new boat from Martha's Vineyard, and they want to name it Have a Day. Oh, I like that. Because my, every time, like someone order, any time someone orders like a little bit too much to eat at a restaurant, my mom will always go, "Hmm, have a day. <laughs> <laughs> mm, have a day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's beautiful. Yeah. What are you looking up? Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> they hold on. Just give me one second. Let me cut this because. Everyone told me to stop looking for stuff on my phone. It takes up too much time. I don't think this joke's going to work. I was supposed to plan it better. But I was going to say, did you guys hear the, the last sound they had on the submarine? There was there was an audio <laughs> recording from the submarine that imploded. <laughs> and this is all they heard. It was supposed to be, oh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> That's okay. I'll do it next time. Okay. You'll come up with a better one it's next time. It's actually funny. I thought it was going to be a fart work. noise, to be honest. <laughs> I know. I had no idea what it was going to be. Should have just been <sighs> Luann's cunt. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, well, that's all. <laughs> We're going to the box. <laughs> um, no, but this is a Thursday episode. We're off next week, so yeah. it's going to be 4th of July break, so there will be no episodes next week. We'll be back the following week, uh, which is like July... What, what date is it? July. Like 11th, 11th, 10th, 11th. Yeah, we'll be yeah. back. Yeah. Not next Tuesday, the following. So mm-hmm. have an amazing break. Mm-hmm. And we'll have plenty of stories to tell you when we get back. Mm-hmm. There's going to be um, a lot. We will be getting that convertible. There'll be convertibles. There'll, will be, there'll be men awing at me in the convertible. Yes. There'll be, there'll be um, oysters being had while yep. Brianna watches. Mm-hmm. And that's just on my side of things. Mm-hmm. What are you going to do? Um, I'll be in the Hamptons. Oh. I'll be in the convertible with you yes. and I'll be, uh, under you with a fan blowing it under your skirt. Mm-hmm. And then, um, I will be driving Grace around, picking her up after her one night stands. All of them. She's oh. going to have one every night. Oh, she's yeah. winning the Massachusetts. And then maybe we're going to Fiji and we might go to Fiji <laughs> and also fireworks, boats, America, patriotism, mm-hmm. Fox news, baby. Hell yeah. Uh, see you guys. Fuck those nuns. In Chicago. <laughs> <laughs>